All right, guys, this is Jacob from Wage Me This, and this is going to be uh, episode number two of Advanced Craps Play. And in this one, I want to talk about and uh, just go through a couple things. Uh, first, concerning strategy versus dice control. Uh, guys, there's no doubt strategy is more important in craps than dice control. Uh, and I'm going to go through a few of the reasons why here. Uh, first thing first, guys, strategy is based in numbers. It's based in the actual math of the game, all right? All good strategies are. They're based in the actual math of the game, which the actual math of the game doesn't change, guys. Uh, math is math is what it is. Probabilities are probabilities, this and that, all right? So dice control is based in an ability to manipulate the dice, uh, which is very difficult. It's super, super hard. It, I'm not saying it's not real. It is real, uh, but it's super, super difficult. Uh, the one thing is, is when dice control fails you, the math won't. Math won't fail you. Math's going to stay the same. One of the big problems with uh, a, lot, a lot of Kreps players is that they assume that the dice control is more important when it's not. Uh, not if you want to be a consistent winner. If you want to be a consistent winner, get your strategy down first, then work on the dice control aspect. Because you can take any basic strategy and throw some dice control on it and have days that are okay, even have good days here and there. But if you if you put good strategy first and really get good strategy and figure out what the way you like to play and then put your dice control in on top of it, It'll only make it better, all right? And, and th this is something that I think really, really gets confused in the game of craps is how important dice control is. And don't take this as, this isn't me bashing dice control. This isn't me doing that at all. What this is me is me telling you that you need to focus on strategy first, right? I'm not bashing anybody's dice control. I'm not bashing any kind of dice control. If you're good at it, you're good at it. But it takes practice and it's a lot more difficult than just figuring out a strategy, right? So I got a $600 bankroll here. I'll talk about some other stuff later, but I want to start here, okay? So first of all, right, let's say I have a $75 dough, all right? And I get some dice control to not roll a seven here. That's what you'd want to do is not roll a seven. So you don't want to shoot a hard way set or anything like that with dice control. But also just on a random standpoint, you only have a 16% chance to roll a seven here. All right. Just if you chunk them down the table. Now you could roll an 11 too. And I mean, that is part of it, but the 11 is washed out by the other winners. So it's really just the seven you're worrying about. Uh, but anyway, so this right here, your dice control, you shoot this first shot, you get you an eight, right? Now at this point, you're dice controlling against an eight, but you have the seven as a winner, all right? So strategy is a huge, huge, huge difference in the game as opposed to dice control. If you're just dice controlling, what your, your goal is, you're trying to get money out there and play against the seven, which just doesn't make sense. Guys, if you don't have to play against the seven, why would you? It's the most commonly rolled number. And guys, it's the most commonly rolled number by 3%, right? By a whole combination, it, it should come up 3% more often than the six and eight, right? That's, that's a lot, all right? That's a whole bunch. Right? So that means you'll have three extra losers out of a hundred. It's just, a, it's more than you want to imagine. You wouldn't think 3% is all that much, but it is. It's a whole bunch. So dice control versus strategy. Now that's just from the base. Okay. So a lot of guys, uh, one of my good buddies uh, included, he doesn't claim he has very good strategy. Uh, but he can shoot the dice really well. So with just a little bit of strategy, he would be super, super effective. 
And he's got better at it. He says that a lot, but he has definitely got better at it. All right. And uh, I know most of the people that watch me know who I'm talking about. It's Mr. George from CY. But he plays across the board, and he'll go like three hits, press, 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 and regress. That's a really good strategy for him because his dice control is excellent. All right. For most other people, that is not going to work. Unless you are on his level, which, guys, let me assure you, George from CY's level is above most people's. Right? Most people are not going to be able to shoot like him. Right? He puts time and effort and, and hours and hours and hours and hours of practice into this. He's years into this. Okay, So uh, don't assume you can jump right up to the table, put a 3V out there, and just bang six and eights. All right? It's just it's, it's not the reality of dice control. All right, you have to put the effort into it. If you don't put that effort into it, you're not going to get the results you want, and then you're going to come back and say dice control ain't real and all this, but you just didn't put the effort into it. So skip that part first and just become a good strategy player. All right, just be good at strategy. All right, a lot of easy strategies out there to learn that are effective. Uh, I, I prefer the ones that I like. Uh, everyone has their own. Uh, or their own twists on old ones. But so we're going to start with a hundred dollar. I'm going to play six hundred dollars through here with just purely random rolls. I'm just going to stand right here and go like this random rolls, roll them out, and I'm going to play the six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to try dice control, which I'm not a great dice controller. And I'm going to try to play the same thing essentially without the seven as a winner. I'm going to play inside numbers for roughly the same amount and see where I come up. I guarantee you strategy will prevail 90% of the time. Okay? Dice control, because I'm not a good dice controller, it will not. All right, so here we go, coming out. We got a 10, hard 10. All right, so we got a 100 there. So now my six, seven, eight are all valuable. 30 30 and 100 so if i roll a seven i'm going to win 40 bucks if i roll a six 35 35 and so on and so forth i'm just going to leave it out here like this until until seven there's aces and again guys i'm just rolling them from pretty close and so far they're really random 35 i'm just going to rack it and i'll go five shooters this way and there's the seven okay Okay, next row, let's mark our first shooter. The shooter number one. All right, here it goes. And we got a seven, okay. Still same shooter. Back to back sevens. That ain't good for our strategy, is it? And a three, so we got that one back. Still same shooter. And a seven, okay. This is a little awkward. And an aces, okay. So three sevens and two winners. What a weird deal. And there's another winner. This might not be completely random thrown from this close. I may have to step back. And there's an eight. This seemed, I don't know, a little, little goofy there. All right, on the six, seven, eight, if you get the eight or the six, you're supposed to go to the iron cross. But here I'm just gonna go like this, all right? And there's the nine, just to keep it pretty simple. And an 11, and a 10, and an eight, so we got hit. Okay. Replace it. We got a three, okay. I'm beginning to worry that this really isn't fully random, being this close. And there's a 10. I mean, it doesn't seem terrible, but it does seem a little weird. And a hard four. I mean, they gotta be pretty random. I'm, they're bouncing everywhere. 35. Okay.
here we go and a 10 we got knocked off okay that's pretty random I would say the same shooter the shooters killing it here's a 314 oh that was a four not a nine guys all right so we still get everything out there we got the five and a 10 okay And an eight, thirty-five dollar winner. Still the same shooter. And a five. And the seven. Okay. That's shooter number two. Put our money. Here we go. All right, we're doing pretty good, I guess. Just letting it roll out. There's a hard eight with uh, let's go these two and a seven. Okay, there we go. Next one is a six. Okay. And a four. Okay. Again, all I'm doing, doing here, guys, is just showing how completely random, as long as you play a good strategy, you're going to come out a winner a lot of the times. All right, this is our last shot. And a three. That's a good one. And a back to back threes. And a four, hard four. Okay. And a seven. Okay. This is our fifth shot. So what we make in five shooters? So that's 75, 85, 90. Uh, that's 590, 690, 790, 890, 990, 1015 dollars. All right, so we're up five hundred and or four hundred and fifteen dollars. So I'm going to put that over here. Four fifteen is the profit for the first, the random guy. All right, now I'm going to try dice control, and what I'm going to do because I'm using a hundred and sixty essentially uh, most times. I'm going to do the same basic thing between the inside numbers there. This is what most dice controllers do. They play the inside numbers, sometimes all the numbers, but most of the time it's the inside numbers. All right, so here we go. 160, or 110, I mean. We're going to have to have a pass line. That's another thing with dice control because you've got to shoot. So you're going to have to have a pass line. So right there we have 125. Uh, we can just add the 25 bucks throughout there, roughly. Let's get some ones. There we go. So this should be pretty close. So we got 30. 15. Okay, all of that together. Most dice controllers will be off on the come out. And the reason being is because they're trying to establish a point and they want this advantage right here. All right, so here we go. So I'm just gonna shoot the 3V, because uh, everyone knows that one. Uh, I'm not great at it, so keep that in mind. So 3135 version, here we go.
and we have a 10. All right. 6, 4, 10. 3, 1, 3, 5. All right, so now, here we go. There's a 12. And we got a five, all right. All right, so that's gonna pay $42. I'm not pressing because I didn't press on the other one. So I'm just shooting it out for five shooters. And there's the seven. Again, this is, I'm not a good dice controller. Uh, I don't know how many shots that was. I think four shots or five shots. Not very many. All right. Shot number one. All right, here we go. Three, one, three, five. And guys, I'm not trying to knock dice control here. What I'm trying to show you is that strategy is, is superior to it. You need strategy first. There's a four, three, seven. Okay. Strategy first, dice control second. If you'll play that way and get a good strategy and then tailor your dice control to it. Tailor your dice control to your strategy. You're going to be far more successful. And there's back-to-back -back sevens. See, I, I, these are the right sevens, the 4-3 with the 3-V, because you are you should have fours and threes all over the dice. Uh but I'm just not good at dice control, guys. It's, it's just the truth. All right, there's a four, two, six. It's just the truth for me. I'm just not good at it. Put 30 back here. I need 30. Oops, 36 here. And 30 and 30. And it's just the truth, guys. I'm just not good at dice control, and I know that. And that's that's also something else I'm talking about in this video. If, you, if you're not good at it, don't convince yourself that you are. Try not to convince yourself because you'll just get out there and lose a bunch of money. All right, 426. It's a good one. 36 right there. Okay. We'll wait to see where we get a point. Don't, what I'm saying is don't convince yourself that you are good at it and then get out there putting money across the board and getting crushed when you can't go past three or four rolls. There's another six. All right. Take this back here. Put 30 down. You know, that way you're not... Don't fool yourself. That's a big thing in craps. People fool themselves. People make themselves believe that they can do something they can't. Or that they can play bigger. There's a seven. What's the difference here, guys? It's, it's clear to me. The difference is, is that when, on the other strategy, when I was rolling sevens, I was winning. In on this strategy, when I'm rolling sevens, I'm losing. And that has to do with that, first of all, I'm not good at it. Second of all, uh, that you just have to have too many hits before the seven because the strategy is in the strategy has some flaws in it. So you have to have, you have to be too good at dice control to make the strategy effective. Whereas there's a six, hard six. Whereas if you play it the other way, strategy first, you don't have to be good at dice control. The dice control is just a benefit. 
And, and guys, I know that you could be like, well, you could be this, or you could be pressing here, or whatever. Yes, I know that, but that's all strategy, guys. That's not dice control. That's, you're talking about strategy. So, yes, you're putting strategy first if you're going to say those things. And there's the eight. But what ends up happening here is when you don't have a solid strategy for the seven, the seven's too expensive. All right, so 35, 42. It ends up making the seven way too costly. Unless you're just really good at dice control, which I am not. Here we go. Reset, reset the dice. It fell in my hand. Here we go. Oh, five, two, seven. That's brutal. On the leaner. All right, that was our third shot. I'm worried we'll make it to our fifth. And, and what it is, guys, is just that the seven is too dangerous if you're not an elite level controller. So you have to have some strategy first. You have to have some strategy to defeat the seven if you can't do it with nice control. And obviously, I cannot. Uh, and I've never said I could. It's never been a thing where I'm like, oh, yeah, I can throw 20 shots, of, you know. I, I know I can't. I've been down that road. I know what it feels like to get crushed repeatedly on 96 across because I think I can shoot the dice at a level that I can't. There's a three. And so, in all those instances that I just got crushed playing 96 cross, if I would have been playing a different uh, actual strategy, instead of just banging my head against the dice control wall, I, I would have been winning. And there's a five. I would have won all those times. Which I know it's crazy to say, but it's the truth, because what you're doing is you're taking... And putting yourself behind the seven every time you just bang your head against that wall. Without any strategy to defeat the seven, you're just saying, well, my dice control is good enough. So if you're going to do that, it better be good enough. Right, there's a 426, it's $42. You know, if, if you're going to say that, then your strategy needs to be good enough. I mean, then you're not strategy. Your dice control needs to be good enough. And that's what I'm trying to say is that when it comes to value, there's more value on strategy than dice control. And I know I'm going to get arguments here because the argument, this is going to be the argument. Well, you only need one good roll. That's the thing is if you use strategy, it doesn't really matter you, whether you get good rolls or bad rolls. So in dice control, if you're saying you only need one good roll, well then you better have a pretty good bank to support yourself. There's a seven. I actually thought I was gonna do pretty good there. I'd had two hits. I thought that one was gonna work. And I actually thought that shot I just shot was a good shot. But again, my level of dice control isn't up to par, so I'm not winning. Here we go. This is going to be our last shooter. And there's a 617. Here we go. And guys, I'm showing this very basically on both sides because there's another 7. Because I, 
if, if I do anything more advanced, I'm showing strategy. So every time, you know, you, you, you claim you're a dice controller, but then you go, you know, then you're playing like two hits and down. Now you're a strategy player. You're a strategy player that uses dice control. If you're not just staying up there and banging out pressing the whole way, then you're a strategy player. And I hate to say that, but I just, I want people to realize that strategy is the key to winning. It is not dice control, guys. Dice control is an, a secondary part of winning. It it's can help your winners, is what it is. It can make your winners better. But well, strategy is paramount, guys. Strategy is first. And if you'll play that way, there's a three wood. If you'll play that way, you'll do better. You'll do better. I promise you'll do better. If you'll play strategy first, Dice control second. There's a hard six. Perfect shot. Hopefully we get a good little run here. So I even think that I've been a little bit less than random at this point. Like, I could have randomly rolled them better than what I got going on right here. Oh, yeah, I did. All right. But again, strategy superior to dice control. But guys, this isn't like this isn't something I'm not bashing dice control. And I keep saying that because that's that's what I that's what people are gonna hear here. They're gonna hear that I'm bashing dice control. But I'm not. I love dice control. Because dice control when done correctly turns a hundred dollar day into a five hundred dollar day. That's the one thing about strategy, is generally strategy is just going to get you consistency. Dice control is going to get you the big wins. So when you put them together, you should be consistently getting bigger wins. And there's a seven. I'm just not good at it. Because those were good shots. Have you seen that shot on that seven? Well, another thing, guys, that seven on that 3V, the three, four, seven, isn't, it's what you're, you're supposed to get that. That's one of the ones you're supposed to get. All right, so let's see. Obviously, it did bad. 150. 205. 250, or 210. 213. So we lost 400 bucks, basically. $387 is what we lost. And over here... We won 415. Big difference. S single biggest difference in the whole thing was that we were playing the seven on this side to be a winner. That was the biggest thing. So it was strategy. Strategy. And now again, guys, I'm not a good dice controller. A good dice controller may have been able to do something different. But that's what I'm trying to type. One of the other things I'm trying to show here is that don't fool yourself into thinking you're a good dice controller. If you're not, you'll know. Right? If you're not rolling consistently, and I'm talking about the numbers that you bet, you have to be rolling four or five hits per shot of the numbers you actually bet. All right? Just because you roll 30 rolls and you have 14 horn numbers and six fours and three tens and now you're only down to like four rolls of the inside numbers if you're only betting inside numbers so it has to do with how many hits you get on what you're actually betting per shot and so that's that's a, a small example there's a very short sample size there of strategy versus dice control and guys the huge 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 majority of the time Strategy is going to outpace dice control. Now, on the flip side of it, the few times that dice control really works, it's going to do well. So dice control is useful, and it is something you should be doing. It is something you should be practicing. But don't trick yourself into thinking that you're really good at it until you are really good at it. Until you've been to the casino and had a couple, you know thousand dollar days using dice control yeah because one time trip isn't enough guys it's just not 
It's not enough to show. You have to have multiple times of consistency where strategy is enough to show. Strategies work everywhere. And the reason being is because it's numbers. The dice are the same everywhere you go. It's still the same game. It's still the same probabilities. All right, so that's why strategy is superior to dice control in the game of craps if you're trying to be good at craps. If you just are playing every now and then and you, you practice at home all, all year long dice control, you go to Vegas once a year, yeah, play with dice control. That's what you practiced all year, you know? Don't worry as much about your strategy, whatever, you know? But again, guys, I, I can say this with certainty, that dice control will never be as consistent as strategy. Strategy plays off numbers, dice control plays off a physical skill, all right? A physical skill to manipulate an outcome on a dice as opposed to just playing numbers that are constant, right? So again, it's going to be more consistent. Uh, and again, on the other side of it, it's not probably going to win the big chunks of money being consistent. You're going to win a lot, a lot of small chunks of money as opposed to one big chunk of money every now and then. And so that, that kind of is preference at that point, which way you'd like to play. But anyways, guys, uh, this, uh, this went a little longer than I expected. So this is going to be episode two of Advanced Craps Play. Uh, I know this one's going to be controversial. People are not going to like it. Some people will like it. But anyways, guys, this is Jacob from Wager Me This.